Hey Mitsuka, today is February 14th, 2017, and it's Valentine's Day. This is my 32nd Valentine's Day without a boyfriend. Um, and most days it doesn't bother me. Most Valentine's Days it doesn't bother me. But I wanted to take a minute today and talk about why that is, why I think it is, um, why it does bother me, and what's going on in a society that makes me seem undateable. Because I'm convinced after... 34 years, 34 years, 32 years, that it's not my fault. Um, I've never had a boyfriend. I've had people, men, flirt a lot, and then pursue me, and then get scared when things get too close. I've been in relationships, but none of them have been official. There's never been a man out there that um, wants to commit at all, even to just calling me his girlfriend for six months, three months, a month, a week, a year. Um, and honestly, I'm a really good catch. I'm smart, I'm funny, I'm independent, I'm financially stable. Um, I'm loving, I'm kind, I'm giving, I'm interesting, I've got the whole damn checklist. Um, and I have finally come to the conclusion that it's not my fault. Because we live in a society which labels women with disabilities as being asexual. And then men who are attracted are afraid to make a move and make something happen because that's just not done, and they've never seen themselves with a woman with a disability. So if they were to go after that, something would be wrong with them. On top of which, um, there's another problem, and that is because we live in this society. When well, women with disabilities are labeled as asexual, um, women with disabilities will often stay in bad relationships. In relationships where a friend wants it both ways, so he won't commit, where they are being physically abused or emotionally abused or both or they'll stay in relationships where they are often taken advantage of and the reason for that is they say well at least somebody finds me attractive and at least somebody thinks of me that way. The violence and rape statistics for disabled women are shocking. It's estimated up to 80% of women with disabilities are, have experienced rape. Um, and if you look at violence and abuse, that number is even higher. And so, yeah, um, 
Valentine's Day, the lead up, the months in between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day are a struggle for me to keep my confidence to stay focused on how I can help and love on other people platonically, um, to stay positive, to not get insecure, and to believe that I'm worth it, and I'm worth being treated well, um, and I do believe that, despite the experiences I have had. Um, so, happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> I get through the day mostly by seeing how I can spoil the people, so I buy other people I care about flowers and chocolates and um, candies and I make plans and I, um, just by way to love the people that are in my life who treat me well because that's more important than any sort of romance. First and foremost, having good, solid friends first so important and the people that waste my time and the people that want it both ways um they can suck it um because if you're not willing to genuinely be there for me oh well um and I hope you adopt that attitude to Mishka because it's so vital for young women to be confident um, and to know their worth because everybody will tell you you don't have any. <sighs> That's all I've got for you today, Mishka. I love you. You are so loved. Today and every day, you are loved, you are rich, you are beautiful, you are precious. You contain multitudes. And don't put up with anyone who doesn't see that. Okay? Bye.